Hello everybody. I am so excited to be here. It's Kathleen from Cause Creations and this is my very first video and I'm psyched. This is the no bra zone guys and I'm so welcome. Feel so welcome that you've uh, you've joined me here. I need to give a couple of shout outs before I get started. Um, Sweet Heather Matter from Heather Matters Art helped me figure out how to do all of this, gave me so much guidance and Heather, I am beyond grateful for your help. Shout out to my artist friend, Courtney Hauser, who has been my teacher from the beginning of all this. I couldn't have accomplished the things that I've accomplished without people like you. And I am so, so grateful. So thanks again for being here, guys, and let's get started. Now, I've already prepped my canvas today. I'm using a 12 by 16 gallery wrapped canvas that I got on sale yesterday. Michael's was incredible. It was buy one and get two free. I actually uh, had to take my truck and I had three carts full of canvases and some beautiful new shades and colors of paint. So here we go. I'm going to do for you today one of my swipes that has gotten a lot of requests from people. Um, I'm real excited to share this with you. I've already pre-mixed my paints because I didn't want to go through that whole thing. So at the end of the video, I'm going to share with you all of my colors, but we're going to start with my base coat. I'm using the Artist Flow High Flow White Acrylic. And I mix my paints with a mixture of 80% Floetrol and, excuse me, 75% Floetrol and 25% GAC 800, which I absolutely love. Courtney Halsher turned me on to this. So those of you who haven't tried it, I highly, highly recommend these golden products. So let's get started. My base coat is down. I mix my paints relatively fluid. I like them, uh, I like them thin, especially for the swipe that I'm gonna show you guys today. So I hope you can see that. I'm so excited to be here, guys. <laughs> this is so much fun for me. There you go. And I've already applied my base coat. Now, one of the things I do do, guys, is after I apply my base coat, I move on and I mix my other colors. And I take my canvas and I support it with a couple of cups. And I let any of my excess paint kind of flow down. I don't like my base coat to be extremely thick. It tends to cake up on me and I have too much paint after I'm done with these swipes and I don't tilt my canvas at all. So there's no opportunity for um, running the additional paint off of your canvas. So that's a little trick that I do. I've already done that because I've already applied my base coat. So let's go ahead and get rocking and rolling on this. I'm gonna do this at an angle because um, I like the way that it looks. I'm gonna start off with my Deco Art Metallic Pearl, which we have right there one of my favorite paints, and this is gonna be kind of the center of my swipe. Next color I'm gonna use is my Deco Art Metallics. This is the champagne color, which is just so yummy. I absolutely love this color. And I'm gonna put this on both sides of my swipe color. And you'll see why here in a little bit when we get uh, rocking and rolling on this. My next color is a mixture of the Deco Art Sterling Silver and my Golden Iridescent Silver, which I love. I cherish. I keep these golden paints under lock and key. We all know how expensive they are.
My next color is a mixture of the Deco Art Copper, which you see here, and the Golden Burnt Sienna. I mixed those two together because the copper was a little bit too brassy for me, and the uh, Golden Burnt Sienna kind of toned it down a little bit. Now, one of my favorite things to mix with this copper hue are my blues. Just such a warm, rich combination. And what I have here is Deco Art Metallic. This is the Peacock Pearl. It's a very thin layer of paint. You don't need much, guys. What I have in these tiny little cups will probably do about three paintings. Let's move these guys out of the way. My last color, which I absolutely love, don't be afraid to play with your colors, guys. Mix other colors together. Most of the time you can come up with some really nice combinations. It's my Deco Art Metallic Peacock Pearl, and I add a little of the golden bone black to it, which gives it just a beautiful richness. Isn't that pretty? Whoops, there's a drip, not to worry. Let's go ahead and get rid of that guy. Now, everybody asks me, Kathleen, what do you use to swipe with? I swipe with so many different things. I use different size palette knives. If I'm doing a long linear um, swipe, I use my Courtney Hauscher technique, which is a damp paper towel. And I usually cut them up in different sizes because I like swiping in different sections. But today I'm gonna to share with you my most favorite tool. It's flexible pieces of plastic. And what I did was I took a report cover and took the plastic off the top of it, and then I cut them in several sizes. I've been using the same report cover cover for probably about three months now. I absolutely love them. Different sizes for different widths of your swipe. Now, it's flexible, but it's kind of stiff, and that's what I like about it. It tends to give me a little bit more control. So, let's get rolling. Now when I swipe, you can see that I kind of pull up my plastic quite quickly. Let's go with a narrow one, give it more of a feathery look. This guy is kind of sticking. There we go. And I wipe it off, real important guys, I wipe it off every time I go for the swipe or whatever color is on the tip of the point will uh, fall down here. And I like this um, white line down the middle. It kind of gives it a, a feathery look. Very light, very easy. Now, I got a little bit of a ripple there because I pulled it up a bit too fast, but that's very easy to fix. There we go. And what I do, you'll see here in a minute, um, I like to have the white negative space between my swipes, but I don't like this little dipped section. So you can go back in there with a narrower piece of plastic, and that gives you a little bit more of a feathery effect. And see those cells? Absolutely no silicone is used. I kind of prefer to have the paints make their own cells 
rather than the silicone and I would much rather be painting than cleaning my canvases. I also don't do much with resin um, or any varnishes. I'm real partial to the look of a natural canvas. There we go. Now guys, I am not able, I'm not ambidextrous. I can't swipe in the opposite direction. So I pick my canvas up and I flip it around. Let me just get my towel to wipe my hands on. I'm hooked up to all of these wires. I got a microphone tucked underneath between my boobies and my phone plugged in and a light plugged in. Very technical stuff. I also like to turn it into the direction that I want to swipe. I have these uh, kind of damp paper towels here in front of me so that I can wipe off my little swiping tool every time I go through the paints. Now you don't have to swipe from the center. If you grab a different color paint rather than this um, pearl color, it'll bring in a whole nother interest, which is kind of cool. I'm a little more partial to the thinner ribbons. And don't be afraid to cross over like I did here. Let's go ahead and give that a try. Kind of gives it a little bit of a three-dimensional look. Hi, babe. <laughs> That's my man back there making all that noise. He's fiddling with his Harley. Pretty easy breezy, guys. This is actually a pretty small canvas for me. Any of you who might have been following me on Facebook or Instagram, most of the things that I paint, I paint on a larger canvas. I have a hard time painting on small space which everybody tells me is pretty odd. Now you gotta work on your ends just as well as you do in your centers. If not, you're gonna have too much paint left. And like I said earlier in this video, um, I don't tilt. I hope you guys can see these beautiful uh, cells that are starting to come up. I did torch my uh, base coat and I'm going to torch this once we're close to being done because I'm going to show you how I uh, can over torch some spots to create some additional cells. Isn't that pretty? I love these colors. Gail Burston from, um, from um, oh my gosh, Mental Block. Gail Burston from My Life in Splatters. I'm so sorry, Gail. I'm a little nervous. <laughs> Gave me this color combination to fiddle with. We kind of had a paint off challenge. Very light and easy on the amount of pressure that you apply when you're doing this. Practice, guys. That's how I got it. I did about five or six of these paintings before I was 
actually happy with them. And don't be able to swipe, don't be afraid to swipe over an area that you're not real happy with. Those are beautiful. Okay, let's give this guy a torch and see what happens. The teal usually sells up really nicely if you over torch it. You can see it happening right here. Pretty. There's a few spots here I think we need to, to fiddle with. This guy right in through here, I don't like that little loop-de-loop -loop that's going on. So let's give that a, a swipe. We have a little bit of excess paint down here, so just swipe it off. Now guys, when I um, dry my paint, I put it in a covered container one of those containers that you can store sweaters and stuff in um, underneath your bed. And I don't touch it for three days. I let it dry very, very, very slow. I've had no issues with cracking, with warping, with anything going on. It protects it from the bugs. So three days, sometimes longer on the bigger pieces. There we go. Now, I like this gold down here through the center, and I'm missing it in some areas. So let me show you a, a little trick that I do. I'll be right back. I have to be careful. I'm, my microphone is hooked up. <laughs> to this wire that only goes so far. <laughs> there we go. I'm going to put a little of that paint on a paper plate here. And I got this little scraper. I actually don't know what it's for. That you can see me and I'm going to dip that baby in there. And I'm going to Go ahead and slowly just kind of put it right down the center where I want to add some extra gold or the champagne color actually gives the illusion of a uh, the center of a feather. I also really enjoy after my paintings are dry to go back with some uh, paint pens, some Copic paint pens, which I absolutely love, and enhance them just a little bit. Add some shadows and some shading. Let's give this baby a little bit. Voila! What do you think? Let's go ahead and give this another torch. Some really pretty cells starting to happen there. this section right here. So let's go ahead and swipe through that. I 
if you apply a little bit more pressure to your swiping tool, you kind of go down to the white base coat, which gives you kind of a center line, like you see there. Voila! I think we're done. What do you think? Let's go in. Let me lift this up a little bit. Hopefully the glare from my camera. But there she is. I think she's beautiful. I think the colors are pretty cool. Thank you, Gail, for the recommendation on these colors. And I think we're done. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I was real happy that you joined me and um, go ahead and reach out in the comments below if you like. If you have any questions, if there's something that I uh, went through a little bit too quickly for you and I promise that I'll, um, I'll answer you right back. You guys have a great night. Happy painting. I'm so glad you came. Enjoy the evening. Bye now.